If there's anybody in Colorado who may not be sleeping at night because of stacked up legal problems, it's former Aurora cop Douglas Haroon. He's currently facing two separate criminal assault cases, one for shooting a man in the ankle while on duty in 2022, and then a month later he was arrested for attacking and choking a woman during a fight over a dog while on leave from the police department. That woman filed a federal lawsuit against Haroon and the city of Aurora with photos showing bruising. She claimed Haroon flashed his police badge before the attack. And now, the city of Aurora has filed its own lawsuit against Haroon, which seeks to get off the hook from defending him in the women's lawsuit. And they've asked for what's called a declaratory judgment. It's a bit complicated, but Nine News legal expert Whitney Trailer explains it pretty simply. The city hopes a judge will agree that Haroon had been stripped of his police powers when he allegedly attacked the woman. And so what they've done is Aurora police has said, we don't think we're liable. He wasn't acting under color of state law. He wasn't acting as an employee. He was on leave. However, in his own legal filing, Haroon says Aurora should defend him because he was still technically employed as a police officer at the time of the encounter with the woman. If a judge agrees with the city of Aurora, Haroon will have to defend himself and potentially lose a lot of his own money. But this is a unique situation where a, a law enforcement agency, the Aurora Police Department, is saying, hey, we're not on the hook. And that's relevant because we've just passed the police accountability bill, which says that an individual officer can be liable for at least a portion of that. I reached out to Douglas Haroon for a comment. He actually answered his phone, but he said he did not have time to talk about this story. In his two separate criminal assault cases, he has two trials set for May and then another set in June. The city of Aurora is not defending him in those criminal cases. Quite the legal quandary here. Yeah, as Tom said. yeah. it's this accountability law has changed yeah. a lot of things, raises a lot of questions. Yeah, and now he may be personally liable in that federal lawsuit. That means if she wins in court, he's going to have to pay up. However, her attorney would likely want the city of Aurora to remain as a defendant because they have deeper pockets. Right. Right? Yeah, For the a question out. immediately is how much does he even have? So. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. Mm -hmm.